what's going on all you beautiful people we got a package here from mr rob's nerdy knives so i was uh lucky enough to win his um channel member giveaway and uh this is the contents of that so i know there is a new leatherman in here and then I think there were some skiffs, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> but we're going to take a look here and see what we've got. Today's knife of choice is the Rafir Going Gear Raccoon. From the Vosti Raccoon from uh, the exclusive for Going Gear. <clears throat> Video on that just went live yesterday. Make sure you're checking that out. <clears throat> So let's take a look here. Just wanna make sure there isn't any incriminating evidence in here. So let me just go through. All right. Looks like we got the, I think that's Quiet Carry if I'm not mistaken. Got the Rob's Nerdy Knives. Cool River's Edge Cutlery. Uh, little Sammy there. That's really cool. I like that. Alright. And then we've got the Leatherman. Okay, there's some more swag in here. Alright. Got a Mini Nerdy Knives. And looks like this is a just a different style of vinyl sticker. That's really cool. I like that. Got a swag pack. You got some QSP sticker. You got Civivi. Oh, that's cool. You got the EMP. Knives ship free. Got a DLT Trading, the Red Lynch Northwest, my favorite, the Blue Lynch Northwest. Got a TPK, and then to the Leatherman, you got your typical Leatherman care and maintenance packet. Then you have the. Leatherman Rev. So I've actually never had a Rev. So let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. Oh, and um, I did. Some, I already mentioned it, but I didn't show it. So I also have a care package of skiffs. So just in case, you know, people may or may not understand what makes skiffs special. Number one, the uh, the ball count. And number two, if you look, they are solid on both sides. Most washers or most uh, bearings that you'll get um, with pocket knives, it's just a flat piece of, uh, of brass or whatever, uh, phosphor bronze or whatever, with holes drilled into it. And then the beads are placed into those holes, and then the it's form pressed around those beads and allows them to spin, you know. So these are you know, a lot more stable. The tolerances are kept a lot different, so that's what really makes these so much smoother. Um, it's really cool. I think I'll have uh, a couple of knives that might be getting some skiff upgrades. I need to get one of those cards. Uh, one of his measuring cards, so. Alright, let's see here. We got to the Leatherman Rev. And again, I've never had one of these. Let's take a look at the pliers first. And we've got our first use for our microfiber. Got a lot of oil there. We'll get that oil cleaned up.
So just with a normal Leatherman, they're always really stiff right out of the box, which is not a big deal. We get it worked in here. The uh, that one handle just does not want to stay, does it? It's got a really weak back spring. But that's okay. We'll get it. Uh, we'll get this thing worked in, and uh, get these pliers working good. Let's see what we got. What's the tool set on here? So we've got a really nice the two D Phillips. Then a fairly large flathead. Then what we got here? You got your package opener, your file and little measuring little ruler. The files are usually really good on Leatherman. Then we have your cap lifter, bottle opener. I mean uh cap lifter, um can opener and wire stripper. And then on the front here, you got your locking blade. So it is a liner lock. It's really nice. It looks like a hollow ground. Yep, a little hollow ground little blade there. That's the, all the tools on the back side. Put there. This I think that's the only tool on the outside. So yeah, so the only tool you have on the outside is your blade, <clears throat> which is not a bad thing. I don't mind that because it's really probably what you'll use the most. Yeah, I don't think that's meant to be open one-handed. So I'm sure some people can probably do it. They have longer hands than I do, or longer fingers than I do. But lockup's still lockup's good on it. You got a little bit of up and down, a little bit of not really any side to side, but just a little bit of up and down, just a hair, just a enough for you can fit to where you can feel it move. So the only thing that really concerns me about it is that that one piece there just not wanting to not wanting to lock enough to where you can actually use the pliers. Wonder if it's just gotten loose or something. Because if I hold it up here, it doesn't do it. Yeah. Let's see. Looks like it is maybe a T8, maybe a T10. That's a T6. Let's see what you are. A little bit bigger than that. <clears throat> all right so i probably fast forwarded through a lot of that because that uh took a little bit longer than i expected but the um yeah the screw i wasn't loose per se because it had a lot of tension or it had a took a lot to tighten it um i think it's locked tighted in place but it was not tight um so it took several turns um, but now it is a little stiffer to open, but you can actually use the pliers. Um, but it just had some, it just needed some, needed some love. Um, I really, really did want a, uh, full size multi-tool with a pocket clip. So this will be 
coming in handy. I will probably um, carry this some at work um, to kind of save some wear and tear on my normal blade. Um, and then I'm more often than needing a knife itself, more often than I need a pair of pliers or, you know, a big flathead screwdriver or something of that nature. So this will be a good test for, um, you know, I was looking at something like the Surge or the Wave or something like that, which I have a Surge, but I don't have the, uh, the pocket clip for it. Um, so this might be a good kind of in-between. I think I'd probably do the Wave instead of the Surge because of the Wave is a little bit smaller. But Rob, appreciate it, my brother. Um, awesome, awesome channel. If you guys have not... Checked out Rob's Nerdy Knives. Um, I don't know what you're doing watching my channel if you haven't watched his. But <laughs> I appreciate it nonetheless. Um, I will leave the link to his channel down below. Make sure you go check him out. Give him a, give him a like. Give him a follow. Give him some, a subscribe. Um, he makes some really awesome content. Does some really fun live streams. And, um, you know, he's just all around good dude. So we'll uh, kind of get some stuff set out here and uh yeah so there you go you got the the big rob where's this other one's at where's it at where's it at here we go this way you can actually see what i'm talking about so again go check out rob's nerdy knives appreciate everybody for watching uh this video is going live uh this will be going live christmas day so um the uh, raccoon video is going live tomorrow uh, which is Christmas Eve for us and then this will be going live the very next day so Merry Christmas everybody hope you have a happy new year I'm sure I'll be doing another video between now and then but in case you don't watch it hope you have a happy new year as always be kind be humble be EDC y'all take care